Hey guys, Liam here, back again. Recently, EA began replacing Origin on Steam on various games with their much newer EA app. Annoyingly, it ended up causing quite a few problems, both on Linux desktop and Steam Deck. Some EA games wouldn't launch at all, some needed repeated loads, others needed the entire Proton Compact data folder removed, and so on. There were workarounds, but the point is, it was a massive nuisance. Thankfully, Valve has come to the rescue. They released a new version of Proton Experimental, the special testing version of Proton you can swap games over to before all the changes roll out to the main version of Proton. In the November 2nd update, they fixed the Edge WebView installer, throwing an error when starting Vermintide 2 for the first time. They fixed the new EA app displaying a blank window. They fixed the Anacrusis not displaying video when joining a match, although that was a regression over a previous version of Proton Experimental. And they also enabled the NV API for Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. That is for Proton users on desktop Linux with NVIDIA GPUs. As a reminder on how to use Proton Experimental, the first step is to go up to the search bar on Steam Deck and search for Proton. Making sure you're in the All category so it will actually show up. Select Proton Experimental from the list of versions and install it. If you already have it installed, it will show it needing an update, which will also show up in the Downloads area of the Steam Deck directly. After that, pick your game, and for my testing here I'm doing Fallen Order. Go over to the icon on the right, go into the Properties menu, and then select Compatibility on the left, Put a tick in the box on the right and select Proton Experimental from the drop down. That will force it just for this game. Now when you go to launch your EA game, in this case Fallen Order, you shouldn't have much of a problem as the EA app should install and load just fine. Although it can take a couple minutes or so to actually get the EA app installed and loaded. Eventually it will then actually get you into a game, which I've tested here in the background on a fully fresh install of Fallen Order that I downloaded just today for the video. As usual, I've sped up the loading in the background, otherwise we'll be sat here waiting watching various screens for ages. But you will see how it flashes between multiple EA app installer and loading screens before it will actually let you get into the game. And I should note, on the first run of a new install, it will show a black screen for a moment, even the performance monitor seems to freeze, but if you wait a little bit it does eventually spring to life. It is a bit of a farce, but that's EA and other big publishers for you. I've yet to see an added launcher actually provide a very real benefit. It would also be nice if in future major publishers actually spoke to Valve first before releasing these kinds of potentially breaking changes. But we'll get there one day when the Steam Deck and Linux desktop together have a bigger share of users. It would be really nice though if EA didn't stick crap like this in single player games especially. It's just thoroughly annoying, don't you think? As always, a link to the changelog will be in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you later.